Hey there, Waypoint crew. Coach Barb coming at you in my living room for an awesome WP Go workout on this lovely day. So what, let's go over the workout. Um, first things first, you will need a jump rope if you have one. If not, that's totally fine. I won't be using a jump rope, rope today. So you can use whatever you have at home if you have a jump rope or we'll do lateral hops or plate hops as an option for that as well. You will also need a set of dumbbells. You can kind of mix and match if you have those in an op, have options. For our strength portions, we're gonna be doing a floor press today, so you could maybe go a little bit heavier with that. Um, and then in our workout, we have bent over rows, so in a hang, uh, hang squat clean. So depending on what options you have, we can certainly modify movements as we go, depending on what your needs are and what uh, equipment you have. So with that, Today's warm up is going to be a one minute of cardio, just whatever you want. If you want to go for a run, if you have a bike, if you have a rower, whatever you have, you can jump rope. I'll probably be doing jumping jacks, you can do burpees. Um, and then we're gonna move into two rounds of 30 seconds of single unders or lateral hops and into directly into 30 seconds of up downs. We're gonna do that for uh, basically two minutes total. And then we're doing right into that, we're gonna do two cycles of 30 seconds, again, of single unders or lateral hops into 30 seconds of burpees. And we're gonna do that two times two through. So essentially a five minute warm up. And then our strength portion today, um, we're working, the concept we're working today is a push pull concept. So the we're gonna have a 15 minute running clock and we're gonna do six sets. So essentially every two minutes and 30 seconds you have to do a set, which is 10 uh, nice slow controlled dumbbell floor press followed by one minute of plank shoulder taps. And then whatever time you have remaining will be rest for those sets. Our cardio conditioning workout today is an AMRAP 12 minutes, so as many rounds as possible of 20 lunges, 10 hand release push-ups, and eight dumbbell hang squat cleans. So, and then immediately we're gonna move into um, an EMOM four minute of 15 dumbbell bent over rows. Let us commence with the warm up and then we will go over the movements for the workout itself. So let's start with one minute of cardio and then we're gonna do those, um, have your rope ready if you have a rope um, for the EMOM two minutes of the single unders and uh, up downs and burps. So let us get moving. So find some floor space and do one minute of cardio. All right, let's go. Like I said, I'm going to do jumping jacks. Whatever you want to do is fine. And then as soon as this minute is up, we will move directly into two minutes, 30 seconds of which will be single unders or lateral hops. And then 30 seconds of that, second part of that will be up downs. We'll do that two times through. All right, 30 more seconds. Getting the body nice and warm. Doesn't need to be fast. Just getting the blood flowing. Fifteen seconds. All right, go ahead and pick up that rope. If you don't have a rope, I'm gonna do lateral hops. And let's go. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. And then 30 seconds of up downs. Ten more seconds. And move to those up downs. Kick our legs out and stand up. You can do step backs and step ups if you need. You can use the side of a box or a chair. If you're not going all the way down, that's fine. Whatever you need today. All right, let's get back to those lateral hops. Or jump ropes, whichever. <laughs> Keep moving. Go ahead and put your rope 
rope down. It's my imaginary rope. And get back to those up downs. Now when we start back, when we're done with this second set of up downs, we'll go back to those jump ropes. But instead of up downs, on that, the next grouping, we're going to do burpees. switch. Here's my pretend jump rope. Whatever works. You're hopping side to side. Or plate taps if you have a plate. Whatever works. So when we switch, we're going to switch to burpees. Alright, set your rope down if you have a rope, and now we're doing burpees. So all the way down, push up, jump at the top. If you're here today, if jumping isn't working for you, that's okay. Go ahead and switch back to those lateral hops or single unders. Again, we're just getting our body moving a little bit. Five seconds, we're moving back to those burpees. And burpees. like I was saying, is going to be a push-pull concept. So we're really think, focusing on nice controlled movements with that floor press. And then we're doing those one minute of shoulder taps. With the shoulder taps, we're in that nice tall plank position. Okay? Keep your feet wide a little bit. That'll help increase your stability. What I really want is nice controlled movements with this, as little motion in your body as possible. We're not rotating ourselves, it's really just shoulder taps, okay? Again, wider feet tend to help with that. Then with our floor press, this is where you can potentially go a little bit heavier depending on where you're at today. So we have 10 nice slow control floor press. So we have our dumbbells, our knees are up. Can you see me? I think so. All right. <laughs> so we're here. Just nice controlled movement. You're doing, we're going to do 10 of those. So once you do your 10, then you move into your one minute of your play taps. Okay. So grab your weights. I'm going to move my clock a little bit here so I can keep better track of time. So 10 floor press, one minute of plank taps. If the plank, if the taps are proving to be a bit of a challenge, um, if you're finding yourself, you're rotating, you can go from your knee or you can just do an actual plank. Um, so those are some good alternatives. All right, let's get in it with our, I think it's 10, 10, just confirming, yes, 10 double floor press. All right, so I've started our running 15 minute walk. Nice controlled movement. Get that 
full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Once when you're done with those 10, then you're moving into that one minute of plank taps. All right, I've got, I'm just gonna wait for my clock to cycle to the one minute. Makes it a little easier. Two, one, and I'm tapping. You can tap opposite, arm, uh, opposite shoulder, or you can tap same shoulder. Again, these are not hurried. We're not going fast on these. Because when you go fast, your body tends to move more. No, we're just doing nice control for one minute as best you can. Now one minute can be, depending on where you're at, a long time to hold this position. So if you need to stop and shake it out, that's okay. Give yourself a couple of seconds and then get back in it. The key is don't wait too long. You will get some amount of rest. All right, that was a minute for me. So to kind of keep up with that two minutes and 30 seconds for each set, I'm gonna rest now before I start set two. All right, I'm gonna go in about 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, and let's get back in it, okay? 10 of those nice controlled floor press. go in 10 seconds. It's nice again to kind of go at relatively even marks. Four, three, two, one, and I'm tapping. This is so good for your core stability. Really forces you to Focus on keeping your body nice and tight. There we go. I'm, I'm in the more of the middle of the camera here. <laughs> I look up and I'm halfway off the side. Take a nice 30 seconds of rest. Whew. I'll go back in in about 15 seconds. Two down, four to go. All right, let's get back in it. When you're ready.
10 seconds for my one minute of shoulder planks, taps, four, three, two, one, and I'm going to get back in in here. Again, nice control on this, widen out your feet, it'll help you keep from turning your body, if you can keep them close, and not turn and not fall over, all the better. Ten more seconds on these. I'm gonna need a little break. There we go. Three down. Halfway, look at that. Give myself that nice little breather. seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back in it. Set four. Up about 15 seconds. Get into that plank tap. Check it out. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. All right. Back to those plank taps. Nice control. As you get tired, really fight the urge. Fight your hips. They're going to want to turn to help yourself out. Fight that instinct. Really keep that core tight. You're going to rotate a little bit, but try to rotate as little as possible. All right, three more seconds. You're doing great. Enjoy this little time to shake out your muscles. Your biceps are getting a good workout today. All right, we're gonna go in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Back to those bus, those uh, floor press. That's what they're called. Go. 
I definitely feel a little harder. All right, I'm gonna go back to those plank taps in about 15 seconds. Let my arms recover a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Keep breathing. Breathing is key. more seconds. And rest. Woo! Okay, right, we've got one more. That's it. Enjoy this little breather. Ten seconds, okay? We'll go again. It's the last one. All right, let's get back in it. Ten of those floor breaths. Got this the last round. Alright, there it is. Give myself about 15 seconds before I get in to this last plank. Whew. All right, let's do this. Last time with those plank taps. I can feel my core work it. Halfway. I'll shake it out if you need. You guys are doing great. Ten seconds, hold on. Don't stop. And there we go. Whew. Nice work, you guys. Grab a drink, and we'll talk about our full body pump it up and work out here. Let me grab the water. Woo! So, for this next segment of the workout, is an AMRAP 12 minutes. So, we're just going to have a running clock. So, you'll need to keep track of your own rounds of where you're at because um, we may end up on different cycles, and that's fine. So the movements are 20 lunges. You can do those as forward lunges. You can do them as reverse lunges, whatever you want to do. The idea is you get your knee all the way to the ground, if mobility allows. Keep your chest nice and tall, so you're not caving over during, uh, so you're not bending over during the uh, lunges. So those, you're gonna do 20 of those, and then you're gonna do 10 
hand release, nice looking hand release push-ups. So with those, so we can go from our toes and all the way down. You're gonna lift your hands up at the bottom. I don't even know that you can see me, but here we are. We're lifting our hands and all the way up. We can also go from our knees all the way down. Release those hands at the bottom, all the way back up. So 10 of those. And then we're doing 10 dumbbell hang squat plates. So let me show you. I'm going to use a slightly smaller, my big dumbbells are kind of unseemly when trying to do some of these things. So we're going from the hang position, so between the knee and the hip. So we're here on the outsides, of, the weights are on the outsides of our knees. We shrug up, all the way down. Okay, so we're getting into that full bottom, full depth squat. Okay? Again, we're here, nice tall chest. Bring those weights up, all the way down in that squat. So we're doing eight of those. And then keep cycling. We're gonna do that for 12 minutes, and then we're immediately gonna move into an EMOM of four minutes of 15 bent over rows. So ready, steady, go, we do our 15. And then whatever time you have left, you breathe. So those for the bent over rows, nice soft knee, we hinge at the hip all the way over. Okay, we're all the way down, engage those lats, and we're pulling the weights into us. 15 of those. So that is gonna be the next portion of the workout. So you'll again, you'll just need a little bit of floor space and you'll need your set of weights. I'm gonna move my larger, more unseemly dumbbells off to the side. And that's about it. So just to review, 20 lunges, 10 hand release push-ups, eight dumbbell hang squat plates. So let me get a clock going and we're just gonna get in it, and it's gonna be great. Gonna have a good time. So we're gonna do this for 12 minutes. All right, and then we're good. So let's start in five seconds, so we're gonna start with those 20 lunges, okay? Four, three, two, one, let's go, 20 lunges, okay? Again, you can go forward, you can go back. You see I'm counting. It's hard to talk and count at the same times. So we're doing our 20 lunges and then moving into those 10 hand release push-ups, okay? We're all the way down to the ground. Pick up our hands, there, and back up. Do the hardest movement you can as long as you can. Even if it's just a few from your toes, do start with a few from your toes. So 20, 10, and then now I'm moving into those eight dumbbell hanging squat cleans. So again, down by the knee, hinge, up. Eight of these total. And then just get back in it. I did forward lunges last time, so I'm gonna do reverse lunges this time. Just cause. Can change it up.
And again, you may be on a different cycle than me, and that's totally fine. Keep moving, keep cycling through. You guys are doing great. All right. Keep going. I hope you guys have music on. <laughs> Keep it up. Just keep going. You're doing great. Back to those push-ups. If, if you're fine that your form is failing, if your release push-ups on your toes are a little wormy, <laughs> move to your knees, okay? I'd rather a really nice push-up from your toe, from your knees, than a less ideal push-up from your toes. more than halfway. Look at that. Keep going. I'm digging these lunges, you guys. It's like a little breather. Great. I don't know if I'm telling you or if I'm telling myself. I don't know. Both. Woo! Should 
Shaking it out before I get into those push-ups. Want to look good. Keep cycling through as best you can. Tell my hamstrings are tight when I do those cleans. <laughs> All right. I need a reverse lunges last time, so here we go. I'm gonna go forward. Woo! Two minutes left. You got this. Keep moving. One minute to go. Now we're moving into those bent over rows. seconds. And then I give us a second to transition. Alright, shake it out for a second. Pick up your weights if you don't have them. And when I say go, we're going to move into those bent over rows. Alright. Three, two, one, 15 bent over rows. Really squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Got 30 seconds and we're going again. And see every minute on the minute. Woo! Three more cycles of this and then we're done. 10 seconds, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get in it.
My lights are a little pretty light, so don't feel bad if it's taking you a little while longer, because I'm lifting fairly light today. And I laud those who are going heavy. Two down, two to go. All right, we're gonna go in 10 seconds for round three. Almost there, guys, you're doing great. Three, two, one, let's get back in it. That was three, right? Yeah, that was three. One more. We'll go again in 15 seconds. And then we're all done for the day, gang. Three, two, one. All right, let's get in this last set. All right, gang, finish strong. You got 30 seconds to finish up. If you have not already. I'll let it finish out. All right. You got five seconds to be done if you're not done already. Three, two, one, and there we are. Great job on this. Go work out today, proud of you guys. Keep working hard, keep working out. Make sure to check out the mobility, vis the, the mobility videos. Uh, they're a really great resource. Drink lots of water, make sure you stretch, and have a great day.